the Mass is celebrated by uh, Most Reverend Archbishop Tadeusz Wojda, the Metropolit of Gdańsk, in the presence of numerous archbishops, bishops, and priests, and among them, Fra Milian Kosteko, Father Provincial of the Herzegovinian Franciscan Province. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Cardinal Leach of Warsaw is celebrating Mass. The Bishop of Prague, and this is speaking now. All of you who have come to this uh, commemoration and funeral Mass, uh, we a miracle of Wisla we celebrated last time for the anniversary mass with Henry Hauser the third in line pastor of this diocese in centuries long history but he will be the first one whose body we shall lay in the crypt of this sanctuary our shepherd who loves his people has left us yesterday at noon during a solemn uh, eucharist celebrated by cardinal krajewski in the seminarian church of, of Oltageo. the family of palatines uh, has uh, express thanksgiving to God for their member. Apostolic Nuncio Penacchio was there in the evening in the cathedral. Uh, many members of the diocese uh, uh, gathered those who were close to Archbishop Hoser Archbishop uh, of Krakow celebrated that Mass. We are now beginning the celebration of uh, funeral rites with great respect uh, on behalf of Bishop Jacek and uh, my own name and everybody else. I greet all of you present here. Allow us uh, uh, together with greetings to express also our gratitude for your presence, prayer and friendship. Gospodin Cardinal Nietzsche. 
Uh, his Eminence uh, Cardinal Nietzsche, the Metropolitan of Warsaw, will celebrate Mass. The President of uh, Bishops' Conference of Poland is Prender, uh, uh, present as well, Archbishop. Oh, Bosch. Greetings and thanksgiving to all. Many archbishops and bishops from around Poland are present here with us, diocesan priests and religious, the family Hoser, as well as Palotin family. I am greeting uh, uh, the provincial Zenon of the Palatines and thank all of those who have watched over Archbishop Hoser over the past several weeks, uh, particularly. In a special way, we would like to a great uh, pilgrims from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Cardinal Pulis from Sarajevo, as well as uh, ma uh, many friends uh, from uh, Međugorje and Herzegovina. There are representatives of the Association of Doctors, as well as political, uh, local, regional and state uh, leaders representatives of different prayer groups and uh, communities. I would like to greet the representatives of the media from both diocese and the country, as well as the cathedral choir led by Pavaro Rukashevsky. I embrace you all with gratitude and thanksgiving. We thank uh, all of those who have participated in the preparation of celebrations yesterday and today, and uh, His Eminence, Cardinal Casimir, I am inviting to start this uh, Holy Eucharist, brothers and sisters. We are standing at the foot of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose uh, sacrifice we are going to live again in this Holy Mass offered uh, for late Archbishop uh, Henry Hoser, a good shepherd, bishop of this diocese and missionary for many years, who worked uh, in the Vatican, for the Holy See, but above all, he was a great, good man. We ask God's mercy for him. Let us ask for forgiveness from God for our sins, though that we may, with pure heart, celebrate this holy Eucharistic sacrifice. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery your servant, late Archbishop Henry Hoser, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The virtuous man, though he die before his time, will find rest. Length of days is not what makes age honorable, nor number of years the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's gray hairs, untarnished life, this is ripe old age. He has sought to please God, so God has loved him. As he was living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not warp his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade and the whirlwind of desire corrupts a simple heart. Coming to perfection in so short a while, he achieved the long life, his soul being pleasing to the Lord. He has taken him quickly from the wickedness around him, yet people look on uncomprehending. He does not enter their heads. That grace and mercy await the chosen of the Lord and protection his holy ones. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Together, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with those you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want.
Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Czytanie z drugiego listu świętego Pawła apostoła do Koryntian. Bracia, wiemy, że kiedy nawet zniszczeje... A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I will tell you something that has been secret, that we are not all going to die, but we shall all be changed. This will be instantaneous, in the twinkling of an eye, when the last trumpet sounds, it will sound, and the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we shall be changed as well, because our present perishable nature must put on imperishability, and this mortal nature must put on immortality. When the perishable nature has put on imperishability and when this mortal nature has put on immortality, then the words of scripture will come true. Death is followed up in victory. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? Now the sting of death is sin and sin gets its power from the law. So let us thank God for giving us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If we have died with Christ, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Jezus powiedział do swoich uczniów Niech będą przepasane biodra A reading according to John Jesus said to his disciples Now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified I tell you most solemnly Unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies It remains only a single grain But if it dies it yields a rich harvest Anyone who loves his life loses it Anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for the eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me. 
Wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honor him. Now my soul is troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it is for this very reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your Eminence, Father Cardinal, Most Reverend Archbishops and Bishops, President of the Bishops' Conference uh, of Poland, Reverend uh, Brother in Priesthood, Representatives of uh, Parliament, uh, local and regional state uh, administration dear family of Archbishop Hendrik dear guests święty Paweł w dzisiejszym drugim czytaniu przypomina że jeśli nawet zniszczyje nasz przybytek doczesnego zamieszkania, będziemy mieli mieszkanie od Boga. Do mnie ręką uczyniony, lecz wiecznie trwały w niebie. Słowa te wprowadzają nas w dzisiejszą uroczystość pogrzebową świętej, świętej pamięci arcybiskupa Henryka Franciszka Jose. We are celebrating funeral rites of the Palatine Bishop priest and missionary Archbishop Henry Koser of the Diocese of Warsaw, Prague and Apostolic Visitator to the Parish of Medjugorje. Until uh, several days ago, I went to visit Archbishop Hoser. It was obvious that he was suffering. Nevertheless, uh, he was smiling, peaceful and joyful in his spirit. He always gladly spoke, commenting, uh, asking questions, conversing, on different subjects, giving his uh, good advices coming from his rich experience that uh, he had living in different countries and continents. He was in, uh, capable of analyzing things, speak clearly, providing facts, uh, he read a lot. Uh, he always used uh, historic books as well as contemporary. 
He spoke of uh, subjects of fate, uh, social problems, sociological problems, pastoral questions, etc. He worked hard. He was aware of his health issues and uh, was understanding that he was coming to his end and was preparing everything to be ready for the will of God. I tried to be there for him. I was telling him that people are waiting for him in Medjugorje, that so much uh, work is waiting for him still, that so many are praying for him. And I repeated many times uh, on the phone to friends, uh, speaking to friends in Medjugorje, but it was toward the end very hard for him to speak. Uh, Sister Elizabeth, the uh, provincial Zenon, the, they did everything possible to ease his uh, sufferings, physical sufferings in the end, and I'm very grateful to them for that. He was aware that he was coming to the end of his life, that life on earth was coming to the end for him. Uh, he uh, wanted to hear the words of the gospel that we heard today. He was ready for his encounter with his teacher. He surrendered completely his life to the Lord. His ministry as a priesthood uh, in the community of uh, Apostolate, diocesan apostolate. In these moments, we would like to remember his uh, life that was rich, full of suffering, like all of those who are beloved of God. Let us reflect the gratitude with gratitude everything that God has done with him and in his life grateful for all that he did as Archbishop and Archbishop he was a true servant of God always ready to welcome his Lord day and night he was born in 1942 in Warsaw his parents were bringing him up uh, in Christian values and love for God. His uh, father passed away in 1944. During the Second World War, they were transferred to a place where he finished his primary and secondary school and continued uh, studying medicine at the University of uh, Warsaw. And in 1966, uh, he graduated. He received uh, his degree as a doctor of medicine. But during his studies, he realized he uh, tried to find a balance between faith and the reason. Let us recall that it was all happening at the time of the communist uh, uh, authorities in Poland. But God has opened his heart for the way of priesthood. In addition to serving as a doctor, he was called to serve as a priest. Not only to take care of body, but also the soul of individuals. And in the end, he also became a missionary. God was calling him to extremes. In 1968, uh, he became member of a uh, community of uh, Catholic uh, apostolate uh, run by Palatine priests. 
Передовниці. He studied philosophy, theology in the seminary and on the 16th of June 64 he was ordained a priest he was in the seminary of the Palatines they rooted deep in his heart the charisma of their founder which Vincent Palotti he was happy to belong to a great family of uh, Palotis. In the end, he was ordained Archbishop of uh, Warsaw and Prague Diocese. Everything that he did in his life, he said he did in the spirit of the charisma of the Palotins. He enriched uh, uh, our tradition, taking that spirit to the end of the world. His work was multidimensional within a Catholic apostolate as well as the Universal Church. You are like those who are similar to their uh, master. As soon as he comes, he will knock the door. He was at disposal to serve, to overcome any obstacle in his ministry and mission. He was bold in answering God totally surrendering himself to the Lord. He was making sure not to go astray. Jesus was encouraging his disciples and Archbishop Hoser did the same with all of us who knew him. His attitude was the same. Enkindle the light of God in your heart, persevere in prayer, deepen your knowledge of the Holy Word. He was in love with the Word of God. During the uh, Jubilee year, he went to Holy Land, to Jerusalem, to the homeland of Jesus Christ, to study Holy Scripture. Because of that experience, his sermons were very profound, deeply arising from the Word of God. His advices and instructions were true pearls. What a pity, uh, a professor who I can see here among you used to say, what a pity his uh, sermons and lectures were not recorded. He always thought that shepherd has to be, be the light uh, and not a blind guide in the midst of darkness. He armed himself with the light of God and he went wherever God sent him, to the end of the world. At the beginning, the end of the world first was black continent Africa, precisely Rwanda. For about 20 years he served there Working from different positions, holding different roles, he was a spiritual director, he was a parish, 
He was member of different commissions, not only in local dioceses. Poor people of Rwanda were in great need. He organized the medical center together with Palotin nuns. He was working as doctor. He was providing medicine in his great service. He was always evangelizing. His work was in time more and more focused on family that has been going through different crises nowadays. He organized many family programs and projects, among which the best known is Family Action. He was helping couples in planning their families, offering expert medical care and service. Holy Father always was asking Palatine priests about Archbishop Hoser. He participated in the first and second special sign of bishops on Africa and family. Everybody saw in him an expert for the culture and traditions of Africa. We can see that uh, a confirmation of that in many letters that he wrote uh, to the superiors of the province. In one of the letters he wrote, there is one condition. Catholic apostolate has to write uh, in uh, its uh, a rule to accept invitations to go on missions throughout the world. God's providence will grant needed grace. The years Archbishop Hoser spent in Rwanda remained uh, engraved in the memory of many Polish priests and missionaries. He worked in Kibali, capital of Rwanda. He was always uh, open with great sense of humor, sharing his experience with others. Missionaries often came to visit with him to rest, uh, to discuss with him the different subjects, to ask for his advice, to share their experiences. And uh, he was always uh, adding, you are my brother and my friend. When he returned from uh, missions, he re uh, lived in France and Belgium, where they came to know him as experienced uh, missionary, always ready to collaborate and serve. In the end, on the 20th of January 2005, he was ordained bishop and he was called uh, to the structures uh, of uh, Holy See and Congregation for Evangelization. 2005, 22nd, uh, 19th of March, the Feast of St. Joseph, he became Archbishop under the motto, God is Greater. In a new role, he promotes uh, missions and uh, difficulties uh, of being missionary. He was uh, interceding for missionaries throughout the world, uh, pro trying to provide for them material and theological help. Uh, missionaries among them call him the friend of missionaries. He understood and was ready always to help th for, with their needs. Providence again brings him back to Poland and he was called to serve in the Diocese of Warsaw Prague in this sanctuary here. People recognize him as a man of wide open horizons. 
always taking care of, of his sheep, understanding pastoral challenges of modern times, working with laity, uh, uh, realizing needs of founding pastoral centers that will gather youth. Uh, making sure that local church would open all the more to missions. He worked with priests and laity, giving them a chance to work, to develop their uh, initiatives. He gladly listened to new ideas, giving green light to their realization. Similar to his work in Rwanda, he worked hard on, on a pastoral of the